tunamshukuru Mungu pia kwa watazamaji wetu kote walipo. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. May God meet you your needs. Mungu akutane na mahitaji yako. Want to go to the word of God. Nataka kuingia katika neno la Mungu. God expects us to exercise faith in his word. Mungu anatarajia tukafanishe imani kazi katika neno la Mungu. Because without faith it is not it is not possible to please God. Maana nasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. When we exercise faith in what God has said, na wakati tunapofanyisha kazi imani ndani ya kile Mungu amesema, this one brings a honor to God. Hili umletea heshima Mungu. This one causes God to reach down and meet with our needs. Hili umsababisha Mungu ashike na akakutane na maisha yake. For as God is concerned there is nothing impossible to him. Kulingana na Mungu hakuna jambo lisilowezekana wao. The word impossible is only known to human beings. Neno ya kwamba haiwezekani linajulikana tu na wanadamu. But before God the Bible says all things are possible. Lakini mbele za Mungu Biblia inasema ya kwamba mambo yote yanawezekana. And they are possible to him who believes. Na yanawezekana kwake yeye aamini. Who believes that what God has spoken in his word is true? Wake yeye aamini ya kwamba kile ambacho Mungu amesema katika neno lake ni kweli. To the extent of acting on what has been promised in his word. Kwa kiwango cha kufanyisha kazi kile ambacho ile ambacho limesemwa katika neno lake. I want to read Matthew chapter 9 verse 18. Then I jump to 23 then to 25. Tasoma Mathayo 9:18 na nitaruka nisome 23 hadi 25. When well, he spread these thing, things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and the worship him say, My daughter is even now dead, but he come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. 23. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the mysterious and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give bless, for the maid is not dead, but sleeping. And they loved him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in, took her by the hand, and the maid arose. Alipokuwa akiwaambia tazama akaja kiongozi mmoja akamzungulia akasema bibi yangu binti yangu sasa hivi amefika lakini mjoo uweke mkono wako juu yake naye ataisha Yesu alipofika nyumbani kwa yule kiongozi aliona wapiga filimbi na mabutano wa kufanya mambo yetu akawaambia ondokee maana msichana hakufa amelala tu wakamcheka sana lakini mabutano walipoondoshwa aliingia akamshika mkono yule msichana akasimama so this is what happened when Jesus was walking here haya yalitendeka wakati Yesu alikuwa akitembea hapa na sasa the ruler of a synagogue had a sick child kiongozi mmoja wa sinagogi alikuwa na mtoto mgonjwa but this ruler of the synagogue had heard about the power of Jesus lakini huyo kiongozi wa sinagogi alikuwa amesikia juu ya nguvu zilizo ndani ya Yesu. So as they stayed together with the rest observing the sickness of the child. Kwa hiyo walipokuwa pamoja na wengine wakitazama ugonjwa wa mtoto. Something was going around in his mind. Na jambo lilikuwa linazunguka katika mawazo yake. He was meditating over how he has had the power of Jesus alikuwa anatafakari juu ya jinsi aliyosikia kuhusu nguvu za Yesu how he was opening the blind eyes jinsi aliyokuwa anawapa vipofu how he was raising the dead jinsi aliyokuwa anafufua wavu i don't think whether he discussed it with anyone in that family ndani kana kwamba alijadiliana na mtu yeyote katika hiyo jamii but all we have here is that the ruler left and went where Jesus was lakini tulioambiwa hapa ni kwamba yule kiongozi alitoka mahali alipokuwa na akaenda kwa Yesu he left his problem 
behind. Alianja shida yake nyuma. He left his dying daughter behind. Alimwacha binti yake ambaye anakufa nyuma. And then he went to where Jesus was. Na Yesu. That was fine. Many times we we take pleasure in staying close to our problems. As though I was staying there on the help the case. And we call people, we call ministers to come and pray for us in when we are close to our problem. We fail to go to church where we can be prayed for. In the time of Jesus, they were bringing people on beds. Because they had faith in him. But we feel we are not going to go where Jesus or where the preaching of the world is going on. We need those ministers to finish and they come to our problem. Lakini watu wanajihisi ya kwamba atupasi kwenda mahali Yesu anaumbiwa lakini tunaona ni vyema waumbii wa malenze huko na waje kwetu watuombe. We must exercise our faith in the word of God. Lazima tufanyishe imani yetu ndani ya Mungu. We must exercise our faith in the altars of God where he is preached. Lazima tufanyishe imani yetu kazi katika madhabahu ya Mungu anapoombiwa. So there are times we have to overlook the our cases and go to where Jesus is. Because this man looked, this ruler looked and, and, and saw uh, he's been near the, his daughter was not a Yes, come because he has a problem. 
shida. But when he arrives to where Jesus is, lakini anapofika mahali Yesu yuko, his first step was not to speak his problem to Jesus. Hatua yake ya kwanza hakutaka shida zake kwa Yesu. He kept worship the first priority in his life. Aliimba ibada nafasi yake ya kwanza katika maisha yake. So when he arrived to where Jesus was, he fell down and began to worship him. Kwa hiyo alipofika mahali Yesu alipokuwa, alinama akaanguka na akaanza kuabudu. That is not the case of many of us. Hiyo sio hali ndani ya wengi wetu. We only want to shout our problem. Tunataka tu kuinua sauti tukisema shida zetu. When we come before the Lord, napokuja mbele za Mungu, instead of worshiping him, badala ya kumwabudu, we want to tell him our problem. Tunataka kumwambia shida zetu. That was not the case of this ruler. Hiyo haikuwa hali katika maisha ya yule kiongozi. They were not in the house. Hawakuwa nyumbani. They were somewhere working on the road. Walikuwa mahali wakitembea barabarani. And when he found this is Jesus, alipopata huyu ni Yesu.
kusema unavyo sema the fact that you are able to speak and to to give forth voice and you should thank god ule uweze mama unaweza kutoa sauti na ukamshudia mungu ni jambo la kumshukuru mungu and the bible says that bless his name na biblia inasema ya kwamba ni nini jina lake for god demands us to worship him with or without problem mungu anatarajia tumwabudu tukiwa na shida au bila So we should join the angels in heaven to worship him as we enter in the presence of God. Kwa hivyo tunapaswa kujiunga na malaika wa mbinguni kumwabudu tunapofika katika uwepo wake. In the book of in the book of Acts chapter 16. Kama tena ya mtume 16. Then verse 25 to 26. Kwa hivyo tunataka 25 26. And at the midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. And the sudden there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bonds were loosed. Lakini ilipokuwa karibu usiku wa manane hawana masira walikuwa wakimwomba wakimwomba Mungu na kumwibia nyimbo za kusifu na wakafungwa na na wa, na wafungwa wengine walikuwa wakiwasikiliza ghafla pakawa tetemeko la nchi hata misingi ya gereza ilitikisika na mara hiyo milango ikafunguka vifungo vya wote vikalengezwa Paul and Silas had a problem Paul and Silas walikuwa shidani they were locked up in the prison cell walikuwa wamefungiwa korokoroni they were they were they had been beaten they were the dead pains walikuwa wame tandikwa wamecharazwa walikuwa na maumivu they were locked to their pains walikuza maumivu ya of the night lakini katikati ya usiku usiku wa mara you know their problems wakiwa katika shida za they make a decision of worshiping god wakaamua kumwabudu mungu the rest of the prisoners could hear them wale wafungwa wengine waliowasikia i know they could not clap their hands because they were chained ninajua wangepiga magofu yao kwa maana walikuwa wamefungwa leo god their mouths were not chained na shukuru mungu dhima yao Jay 
to fast But I want holy all down that inhabitants the praises of Israel. Do that the psalmist. We only But thou art holy, thou that inhabitants. He come to inhabit. In the midst of the prices of his children. So when we begin to worship him, something takes place in heaven. Something takes place in the spiritual world. Na 
May God help us that we may receive this anointing of worship. When you are faced with things which are beyond your ability. Because in this life there are challenges. We can never avoid them. You sleep, you wake up. Things come which you never expect. You are faced with situations and circumstances which are challenging your life as a child of God. That's the time the enemy comes and tells you where is your God. That's the time he comes and tells you your God has found you. I want you to carry two saints. In the midst of such a situation, is the time now you should challenge the enemy. Until the devil, God will never laugh. He will ever remain faithful to, to his word. Meaning the time this ruler was leaving his daughter. 
kipindi kile huyu kiongozi alikuwa anamwacha binti yake i think he left the eyes having rolled aliacha macho yamejigeuza he left the town die aliacha yule binti anakufa he left at a hopeless situation aliacha hali ambayo haina matumaini and he went to meet jesus na akaenda kukutana na yesu glory to god utukufu kwa maana is wonderful Nilaja. It should be such to us also as the children of God. Inapaswa kuwa hivyo kwetu kama watoto wa After worship we can now voice our problems to him. Baada ya ibada tuna sasa tunaweza sasa kupaza sauti tukitaja shida yetu. He told me tell us him that the child is now dead. Anamwambia he told me Samaha He told me tell us him the child is now dead. Anamwambia mtoto amekufa tu. He also told him now come to my house. Dia alimwambia sasa njoo kwa mbali mbali. And the lady who has upon her. Na umwekee niko. And I know she'll be well. Na ninajua ataishi. That was the pain he had. Hiyo ndio imani aliyokuwa nayo. He needed Jesus in his family. Alimhitaji Yesu kwa jamii yake. Many times people decide to receive miracles and they have got no business without Jesus who is performing the miracle. Mara nyingi watu hutamani kupokea miujiza na hawana shughuli na Yesu anayepeana miujiza. They come carrying their offering, their sacrifices. Wanakuja wakibeba sadaka na dhabihu zao. Pray for me. Niombe. I want a miracle. Nataka miujiza. But they have got nothing to do with Jesus. Lakini hawana shughuli na Yesu. I have been telling them out of my office after praying for them. Nimekuwa nikiwafukuza kwa ofisi yangu. When they are given to sacrifice, what they told me so that I refuse them. Ninazikata. Because God is not looking for money, he's looking for our life. Kwa sababu Mungu atakuchi fedha zetu, anataka nafsi zetu. Why should you receive a miracle and you reject the miracle of giver? Kwa nini upokee mujiza na ukatae anayepeana mujiza? You start giving money and so you are bribing God to perform a miracle for you. Na nataka unaanza kupeana pesa, nikana kwamba unamhonga Yesu. God has not need our money, he needs our lives. Mungu hahitaji pesa zetu, anahitaji maisha yetu. Kesho ina thousand hills belong to him. Eh, ngombe F katika milima F ni zake. The world and the fullness they are belongs to our Father in heaven. Lakini kuna vyote vilivyomo ni vya Baba yetu aliye mbinguni. So God is that he is not living in one. Kwa hiyo Mungu wetu aishi katika kukukiwa. Neither does his true minister stay in one. Neither yeah. does his true ministers yes. stay in one. Dile dile watumishi wake wa kweli hawaishi katika kukubukiwa. Yes. So we are not sustained by the ordinary people who give. Yes. Kwa hivyo hatukalishi na kudumishwa na sadaka ambazo watu to. We are sustained by the power of God. Tunarudishwa na nguvu za Mungu. Who can command a lover to feed someone? Ambaye anaweza akamwamrisha kumuru kumlisha mtu. So don't think Money when you are being prayed for is very necessary. Why don't you see here a woman taking a zako? Sihitaji tu binti yangu apone bali pia ninakuhitaji 
Because you remember another one told Jesus, just speak a word and my child and my and my servant will be healed. And according to his faith, it was done. But this man tells Jesus, come and lay your hand upon my daughter. How much I pray that you also invite Jesus into your family, into your heart. Yeah, we did. Oh, things which are not seen. Imagine if I had a number of 
Even when things are beyond man's control, God is beyond what you can see. Hata wakati ambapo mambo yako zaidi ya uwezo wa mwanadamu, Mungu ako hapo mbele ya vile unavyoweza kuona. It is written in the book of Hebrews, kuna mstari katika Waebrania 10:23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for He is faithful that promised. So when you are holding to your faith, because your faith is grounded in the Word of God. Stand there as I pray for him. 
Mama pale ina mbobe. Then he pressed his his fingers in the ears of that man. Na akawekelea kidole yake kwa masikio ya yule mtu. He prayed a prayer of faith. Akaomba ombi la imani. Then he told his ministers. Akawaambia hao wao, "Come on, just test on him. See what I can now hear." Mfanyie majaribio muone kama anaweza kusikia. I was just So one minister told the, the minister who was minister, one pastor told the minister. Wewe mtungaji mmoja akamwambia mhuduma, "Ako bado, ako bado, ako bado." So the minister prayed again. Wewe mhuduma akamtumishi wa Mungu akaomba tena, "Test him now." Jaribie tena. The same pastor told the minister, "Ako bado." Yule mtungaji akamwambia, "Mhubi, bado." So the minister got discouraged. Then he said, he said, he said, uh, uh, he said, 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 he was discouraged by his fellow ministers. He said, 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 the faithless people out of your presence. That is what Jesus did. And when they left the room, he, he, he got the hand the, the, the of the children. She was up again. So they were all ashamed. Expect a miracle. But the first thing we should do is not to give our problems a first priority. But we should give worship the first priority. I don't know what you have this day. Uh, you could be faced with a situation and a circumstance which is beyond your ability. So the doctor may have told you a word which has discouraged you. Or your family people. Or anybody. Because the desire of the devil is to discourage us. My friend, because you have no power to change that situation. But God in heaven can change that case and situation. You can just worship him. Thank him. Tell him I love you, God. You are able to do more exceedingly above all I can ask or think. And therefore I will worship you. Come on, can we stand before the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. Stand before the presence of the Lord. I'm just going to worship him shortly. Then we pray. In Jesus' name.
Papa Uko Yupo Padeli. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. And so you lay your hand upon your chest. We can hear the woman or more yet. Raise up the head, the hand towards the hand. Don't follow it with me, Jumbe. And let God see in your hands. Watch a look at how they put it. And let God perform a miracle for you. Watch a look at today. Let God perform a miracle upon you. You are not your one. Watch a look at today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we stand before your presence. We glorify your name. We do acknowledge that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We do acknowledge life is in your hand. We do acknowledge that you are our Creator.